Uh, today was like uh, just a day for me to show out, you know. I was motivated after uh, not participating in the combine. So I know today was a big day for me. So I just wanted to show out. I feel like you opened some eyes out here. Definitely, definitely did. But it's nothing new to me, for sure. Izzy, it feels like you're an athlete who's kind of built for stuff like this. Would you agree with that, that you're, you're kind of a guy who's built to thrive in a combine setting like uh, this? Definitely, definitely. Uh, during college, we did a lot of combine prep. You know, I did a lot of numbers like this. So I was just waiting to show up on the national base. Are you, are you feeling healthy now? Oh, yeah, definitely healthy. Yes, sir. You know what your 40 time was? I you believe heard? they said between a 4.26, 4.32 in the last one. So I'm not really sure what the official time is. Izzy, was it a motivator? Like, if I'm going to show these guys that I should have been in the comp, is that something that's been driving you? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Just me not being in the combine, but participating in the combine just motivated me since that day. Just watch everybody else run. What do you want NFL teams to really make sure they know about you? I want them to know that I'm dedicated, disciplined, humble man, on and off the field. And, you know, I'm a great player. I'm a great man, for sure. Izzy, you just turned 21 this past fall. Did you anticipate this whole process taking place this early in your life? Uh, I actually turned 20 years old. Or 20, so, that's yeah, right. Cool. Yeah, you're not even 21 cool. yet. So, I mean, did you imagine this happening so early for you? Uh, In a way, kind of. In a way, kind of. You know, I've been working since I was four years old. I always played a... Uh, a division up and I always been the youngest one so I kind of knew I was kind of prepping for this to happen but you know I'm thankful God bless how many what NFL teams have interest in you you think right now do you know you have it narrowed down uh I'm probably about you know probably in the 20s but hopefully all 32 <laughs> after today are the Steelers one of them and have you talked to them and met with them or what do you think of that oh uh, yes sir I, I kind of had a informal meeting well I was supposed to have an informal meeting with them and uh at the combine but Tom Tom issues but they they reached out for me questionnaires you know what are some of the NFL teams telling you about your, your chances to get drafted, where to get you're going to make you drafted, and what your role you might play in the league? Uh, they, didn't, they didn't really uh, get into that. They just really uh, ask questions about me, uh, try to see where my mental is in football. So they didn't really get into none of that yet. What kind of questions they ask you? Uh, just ask you what, what's my six-man protection, you know, uh, what man you picked up on the film. You know, they show a lot of film work. Is it, what's <clears> the one thing you really wanted to prove today, and do you feel like you proved it? I wanted to prove everybody that I had the ability to catch uh, and also I could break away speed, my breakaway speed, because a lot of people still thought that I, didn't, I couldn't really break away, so I really wanted to show them my 40. Are you surprised they, that you surprised they didn't believe you in breakaway speed? Yeah, I, was, games <laughs> <laughs> I actually was surprised when they, t uh, when they talked about that, so you know, I decided I'm going to show up on my 40, let them know. It feels like when anyone watches you tape, your speed is the first thing that pops off. Mm -hmm. But you also showed explosiveness with the vertical and other things. What are those parts of the game you think that are underrated when people look at your tape? Uh, people don't really look at how I burst through the holes, you know, how I break through tackles. Just me with my speed breaking through tackles, you know. A lot of people don't really realize that. They just see, okay, he's just a breakaway runner, you know. Uh, he don't really got the ability to catch outside the backfield, which I showed. So, you know. A lot of the running backs that ran close, like the times we're talking about in your 40 that were at the combine, they were like under 200 pounds. You, what'd you weigh in today at? Uh, 217. So you're you're bringing in some serious weight. Is that another factor that you think weighs in for you? Yes, sir. Speed and power, great combination. So I always thought like that. Is you, if you were asked, would you return kicks at the next level too? Yes, have you, definitely. Have you talked about that with NFL teams? Definitely, definitely. Can return the punt return all special teams. I just, I evolved just to be on the field. I love it. Is it what has this process been like? Is it? starting to feel real like you're weeks away now from the draft uh yeah at first it was a lot of ups and downs you know it was a lot of uh man like should i should i have left should i did that should i have did this or that uh but on and on through the process you know it just kept showing me like yeah this is meant for me this is meant to be so and with the weeks away from the draft it just it just opened it eye opening what have been some of those moments that have shown you, okay, this is exactly the path I'm supposed to be on right now? Uh, definitely recovering from my hamstring injury, me coming back and hitting good times during a uh, combine prep, you know, down in Tampa. And it was just me eye-opening, like I said, just showing me, like, you know, don't quit, just keep going. How much have you leaned on your teammates or old, or old teammates during this process? Oh, definitely talk to my teammates, like, every day through the process. Definitely when I was down in Tampa, just telling them how the process is, you know, them giving me advice, just keep going, a lot of motivation, especially after my hamstring injury, you know, just saying keep going, don't quit, and I just, you know, listen to what they say. Izzy, what sort of feedback did you receive today from scouts or coaches? Oh, uh, yeah, they said I was rolling. <laughs> rolling? Yeah, they said I was rolling, so I was like, you know, I appreciate that. Izzy, do you recall um, 
I think three years ago when you first got here, you broke off like an 80 yard mm. run that kind of blew up. I mean, do you remember, like, how much have you grown from that? And can you kind of picture yourself back then to what you are right now? I grew a lot from then. I just knew how to really run back then. I didn't know how to pass pro. I had trouble catching, you know. But I grew throughout the three years, I grew a lot. Learned a lot of pass protection, who to pick up, assignments, how to really block, you know, because I didn't learn none of that through high school, literally. I was just getting the ball. So, like, when you saw that kid running for ADR, that was just me just running, just showing them I could, I could run the ball. But now I'm a complete back. I could do anything any coaches want me to do. I could do special teams. I'm a complete man, a complete back. You think today to move you up in the draft board, and where, where are you guessing? Where's your camp telling you? You're gonna go in the draft. Uh, a lot of people really didn't tell me my, you know, my days and whatnot. I didn't really like think about it as hard too. From my mindset, I just really wanted to get drafted. You know, <laughs> that's my main goal. You know, since I was a kid, just make it to a team, and I'll show them what I could do when I'm in the NFL. You run an impressive time. Uh, Eric ran an impressive time today. Brandon Hill was the fastest safety. Kalajic was the fastest defensive tackle. What makes it? Make, what makes pit players so fast? I just said Coach Stack and uh, Coach uh, the strength staff definitely. You know, we did a lot of work. Lower body, straight lower body, straight upper body. A lot, a lot of work on the field, uh, tempos. You just moving. We never stop. Is he, how are you going to spend the next few weeks? And what will you be for the draft? Well, I'll be back home with my family, Brooklyn, New York, for the draft. You know, I'm spending uh, the next few weeks down there with my trainer, doing like uh, a lot of field work, a lot of you know, lifting just to get right for you know after draft rookie minicamp. So I'll just be back home with my family, you know, celebrating this wonderful day.